What is going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. A little uncharacteristic. Uh, I came out, I got a new lens for my camera, so uh, I've been shooting some pictures. So figured I'd come to the cemetery where, um, where we saw the ghost, um, where the chimes, all that good stuff. Give you guys a day, daytime perspective of what the cemetery is like. Um, being here with the sun up, is a lot better than being here with the sun down. It's very calming, um, very peaceful. Um, so with that being said, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everybody. Today is uh, the 4th, January 4th. I hope you guys are happy, safe, healthy, and uh, everybody's doing well. Um, I would like to say, uh, give a shout out to um, the Leon family. Uh, if you guys are watching this, you know how much I care and love about, I uh, love all of you. And um, we lost uh, another another uh, family friend um, uh, due to COVID. Um, but God bless you all. I love you and, and I will see you soon. Um, if you need me, I'm here for you. Guys, I'm just gonna kind of take a little walk around. I'll walk over to where the chimes and all that good stuff are so you can check that out. It's gonna be just a short little video. Um, I took some still photos, kind of cool, so I'm excited about that. Uh, good news. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of shoots tonight, um, probably tomorrow, some exciting stuff coming your way, so I love you, deuces. By the way, I got a, everything uh, with my, new, cat, with my uh, new lens, I got a new microphone too, I just kind of uh, got some good Christmas uh, goodies for myself with uh, some gift cards and all that good stuff, so um, I got a new microphone, so I'm hoping... Uh, Hoping you guys can hear me a little better. I'm hoping it takes away from all the internal microphone wobbliness that you always hear when I'm filming and the shaky stuff, all that good crazy stuff. But uh, I'll tell you what, this place seems a lot smaller during the day, which is pretty funny. Just as beautiful though, even more so. Kind of give you guys a little straighten this stand out <clears throat> so this is kind of that if, if you remember my last video I'll, I'll, I'll share a link so you can uh, check it out too but this is that open where I mentioned the open field where I felt very vulnerable I thought I saw something there as well um, and again if any of the names are um, you can see any of the names on there. I mean, no disrespect to the families or the deceased. Um, some real beautiful stuff. It's kind of strange because if you told me two years ago that I would come into a cemetery and admire its beauty, I'd call you crazy. It's 
So over here are these trees. Uh, the first time I ever came out here is where uh, I almost got hit in the head with a pine cone. Where did I? I don't even remember. <laughs> but uh, it's where one of the pine cones dropped on me. And then just to the left of that, towards the end of my finger, you can see the chimes as we're getting close. Really is awesome to be out here uh, during the day. Beautiful day. It's like 48 degrees out, sun is shining. Now there's the chimes, and they're actually moving a little bit right now, but there is a slight wind. family has been here recently for the holidays. It's very nice. All I'm hearing is a lot of road noise, so if you guys hear anything in the video, you never know. I, I've been to places like this during the day and you hear some crazy stuff that gets captured by, uh, by the camera, so. Um. It's beautiful out here, it really is. I don't know if you can see this, but. Some geese. I don't know if I can zoom in that far with this. Like I said, this is very peaceful. My goodness, I'm very happy that I stopped here today. Very happy. So, like this is this is just beautiful. Um, I might do this more often. Just come walk this path because uh, it's great. So, <clears throat> New Year's Eve was probably um, the toughest day for me uh, since all the uh, tragedies happened in April. Um, I took a fistful of melatonin and uh, I was out by 10.30 maybe. Um, just... Just tough, you know. I, you, you. It's the end of 2020, and you kind of just hope you can put a stamp on it and uh, say, "That's it. 2020's done. All the tragedies behind us. Um, we can wake up and this nightmare will be over." But unfortunately, you wake up in 2021, and uh, it's still going on. It's still crazy. Um, 
a day into the holiday, you know, we got a phone call um, that a great friend passed. Um, one of my really, really awesome, amazing friends, uh, his father passed away, in which his father and I were very close. We used to ride Harleys together um, when I was in Florida and I had nothing to do during the day. He was kind of the only other one that was able to just hop on the bike and take a ride and we had some great times. Um, so we we're bringing in the new year with another one down <laughs> and then there's a there's another one we're still asking prayers for that I don't, it's just, it's insane. It is what it is though, right? But we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Look at this tree, it's gorgeous. How about that for a segue into a gorgeous tree? Talk about tragedy and trees. And then again, like I said, uh, we have a little, we've got a little surprise. We got some stuff I'm going to be doing tonight. Uh, I'll probably get this out today. Um, geez, it's uh, not even 11 o'clock, so this is nothing. I'll just put this up, say hello, happy new year, and all that good stuff. Quick little video. Um, but in a couple hours, I'm going to be meeting somebody. Actually, I'm going to be meeting a few people couple people I should say um, and uh, I'm so excited we're gonna bring in the new year we're gonna start out by shooting some uh, unbelievable videos but we're gonna have so much fun in the meantime it's gonna be a great year guys again I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little video show you the cemetery give you a little run around talk to you a little bit uh, it's kind of cool seeing this place during the day and just everything about it is beautiful. Like I said, it's not that big. Not as big as it, as it was when I filmed it at night. There's another cemetery not too far from here that is a Confederate cemetery that is supposed to be so extremely haunted that I cannot wait to go see it. And maybe when my friends are here, I don't want to spoil anything. Look at that. That's my dream. Is it on there? Plane. I hope I'm capturing that. I can't see. So right over here is uh, the Rock Hill Airport. And, uh... Like I mentioned in my in my live uh, video, um, one of my lifelong dreams was to uh, become a private pilot, but it's so damn expensive to do. Um, but the good thing is, is I was talking to some folks here at, at this airport. Um, there's a school over there, and it's a pay-as-you-go program, so it's really cool. If you can afford to get a lesson this month, you get a lesson this month. Um, most people, they say, get it done in a couple of months. Um, it would probably take me a, a year, a year and a half to do it. Um, but I might do it. What the hell, right? You only live once. And I uh, just want to cross a few more things off the bucket list, that's for sure. Give you guys another look here real quick.
All right, don't be angry that I'm not sitting here trying to trying to uh, get some crazy scary stuff going on because I just wanted to just give you a quick explore, keep my blood pressure down, all that good stuff. So it's cool. It's really beautiful here, um, guys. I, I just uh, again I. I want to say, if you didn't catch me in my uh, live video, uh, thank you so much for all your love and support in the past year. Um, I know I didn't film as much as I would have enjoyed to, but um, circumstances uh, dictated <laughs> that uh, I couldn't do so. Um, and when I do do these videos, um, along with my friends and everything, we, we want to enjoy doing it. We don't want to just do it just because we feel we have to do it. Um, it's fun. It's fun. I love it. I love doing this. So that's why we do it. So another thing I'd just like to uh, comment on, guys, uh, I, I, I know a lot of people send me messages asking me to get uh, to, to do shout outs and all that good stuff. I, I would love to. I do it on the live videos when you when you catch me on there if I see your uh, comment. But uh, when I come out and shoot, I, I, I can't I can't remember. Jeez, I can't even remember if I tied my shoes or not, let alone um, who randomly sent me a message asking me to say happy birthday or whatever. I, I'm sorry, guys. Um, but if, uh, if you catch me in a live, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. We also have Cameo, um, which is a, a great outlet for it. I know it does cost money, so I'm not, you know, like I said, try and catch me on a live video, and I'd be more than happy to, to do it for you, um, you and your family. I am just so grateful for all of you. Um, that support our channel and uh, support me, support my family. Um, uh, there's really not too many words other than saying thank you and I'm grateful um, for each and every one of you. Uh, the new um, address, the new P.O. box, it's not technically a P.O. box, it's a physical address, but um, I got it. I know a lot of people have been yelling about that. Get it, get it, get it. I know people wanted to send stuff for the holiday. Um, I'm sorry. You know, I just just kind of uh, tried to budget in these last couple of months to uh, to um, getting things for my family, you know, instead of spending the extra couple of bucks for the, the P.O. box. Plus, I wanted to make sure that everything was good, um, and I'm going to start filming more and more. So um, that is in place. Uh, that will be down in the description below, guys, so check it out. Um, I will... Uh, probably do I saw I saw Rob said he was gonna be doing um, unboxings and opening uh, of uh, fan mail and that's I hate saying that it's so weird but um gifts and everything that you guys send uh, love it I love I love it we love getting stuff um, really do but you don't have to do anything everything you do is just so sweet and thoughtful um, but he was doing something he said he's gonna do like stories on his Instagrams uh, so he can open stuff up and say thank you uh, for the letter or the gift or whatever it may be and I might follow that and do the same because uh, this way we make sure I, I let you know how grateful I am uh, for each and every every one of you that sends stuff out um, that being said guys I do indeed love you dearly I'm out of here I got a long day ahead of me I'm gonna go home upload this a couple of pictures my new picture thing I'm gonna have some fun with um, check it out I'll probably be putting uh, pictures up on uh, online of some of the stuff I'm taking pictures of let me know what you guys like um, I uh, I really enjoy doing like scenery uh, landscape um, I want to start going downtown into uh, Charlotte and doing some night photography for me I love I love seeing night lights and just that uh, it's just it's incredible so um, let me know what you think about the pictures I'm gonna actually probably put a couple pictures in the beginning of this uh, as well and um, and if I'm overwhelming you guys are boring you with that let me know too and I'll, I won't post my pictures online uh, again love you very much check everything out in the description we will see you really really soon maybe in the next day or so be aware some good stuff's coming love you deuces <laughs>